What's up, Raiders? It's your boy Groovinator from RaidersLostFlicks.com. How y'all doing today? Um, got some good news. Good, good, good news from the Elite of Battle Angel fans that are on my channel. Uh, we are getting a uh, release date for the uh, digital and Blu-ray and DVD uh, coming in July. So that's, that's just a little ways off. I'm going to have to definitely put some pre-order down on this because uh, I definitely want the 4K Ultra HD. But yeah, um, uh, you can, this is just came off of uh, IGN just a couple hours ago, and I said that I would report that on this channel. Uh, this is right here. You can pick up uh, Lead of Battle Angel on digital, Blu-ray, or DVD this July. In North America, the digital release comes first on digital with Movies Anywhere on July 9th, while customers who prefer physical releases can take home their copies on July 23rd. These include 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, and DVD. Uh, in the UK, the digital edition goes live on July 12th, and... Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> and the physical versions are set for July 22nd. While in Australia, the digital edition drops on July 10th, and the physical editions will be released uh, on July 24th. So, special features that come with all releases include Alita's World, a deep dive into a world of Battle Angel that features a look at the war that destroyed the two planets, Hugo's guided tour of the Iron City, and a high-octane crash course in Motorball and more. Also included is From Manga to Screen, a look in the origins of Yukito Kishiro's manga, Gunnam and its history of being brought to the big screen. Included in the Blu-ray and digital special features is the evolution of Alita, which shows how the film brought to life, starting with the casting of Rosa Salazar. There's also a 10-minute cooking school where director Robert Rodriguez gives cooking lessons on how to make the chocolate seen in the film. Also included is a Q&A session led by producer John Landau with the filmmakers and cast and a compilation of ex-producer Jane Cameron's 2005 concept art for the then-titled Battling Angel Alita. I am so excited about this. This movie was awesome. I'm looking forward to watching it on multiple release. I will probably get it digital and then also buy it physical because I don't think I can wait to see this movie any longer than I already have. So uh, the digital edition comes with its own in-depth examination of composer Tom Holkenberg's musical themes, a set tour of Iron City led by director Robert Rodriguez, and a reel of Light Stro uh, Strum and Rodriguez 2006 compilation of concept art. The digital release also includes a rundown of Alita's allies and adversaries, as well as a scene deconstructed of the vis visual effects process. In our Alita Battle Angel review, we called the film great, saying it's an ambi ambitious, impressive, visually spectacular production with great performances that make its strange world seem real. So, yeah, finally got some news on that. Uh, I definitely am going to get on, be um, keep my eye open for some pre-order uh, information uh, as I find that. I will probably share that on my channel since a large chunk of my subscribers came from the uh, Lita Battle Angel uh, videos on my channel. So I'm only sorry that I can't put out more content on Alita, but you know what? I don't want to just make stuff up. This is not a Mike Zero channel. I don't just pull stuff out of nowhere and throw videos. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to make sure that I put stuff out that is genuine and new information so that it doesn't sound like I'm just trying to make a quick buck off of you guys. Okay, so... Uh, thank you for being subscribers to my channel over Alita Battle Angel. Thank you for helping me discover Alita. It was a great experience. Uh, I really enjoy this. The first manga I ever bought. This is as close to anime as I've ever gotten where I actually enjoyed it. I love this universe. Hopefully more sequels come. I, I will report on that as that comes as well. But uh, what do you guys think? Are you guys going to pre-order it? Uh, let us know which version you're going to get down below. And this is one of those movies, too, where if they do, like, a, a more special hyper collector's edition down the road, probably going to go with that one, too. God knows I've had plenty of versions of the Terminator over the years and Terminator 2, so I fall for every single one of them. But anyways, uh, you guys have yourselves a groovy day, and this is the Groovinator signing out. Peace.